Hello again, people. Hey, how's it going? Welcome to another podcast, um, where today we'll be talking about stuff and other things. So, yeah. I'm just googling how condition how hair conditioner works. Oh, okay, how um, does hair conditioner work? It's the catatonic surf, surf surfactants that do most of the work. The small amount of acid in the conditioner makes the cuticles, the cuticle flex fall tightly against each other and that makes your hair feel smooth again even after you that doesn't tell me how it works um hold on i'm gonna open this magic yeah i know how soap works it basically makes the bacteria and dirt and stuff like slip off your hands okay that's basically how that works that's quite cool well um we started a challenge it's called the 100 day fitness challenge where you basically have to do 20 minutes of some sort of physical activity every day which is weird because normally we take Sundays like completely off anything whereas now it's kind of like oh I have to do something yeah we're only on day two as of the 20th of January technically we're on day six seven because we we went to the gym on Monday and stuff yeah I suppose but I mean it yeah whatever whatever day we want to I'm good. I've I've I'm documenting it on Twitter. And today is day two, so okay. we're okay. doing it that way. Um, but yeah, that's that's fun. Um, it also means that <laughs> what's a rest day? <laughs> I mean, a rest day can be just a walk. Yeah, although we walk every day anyway. But but um, yeah, it's sort of it's different from well, I guess last year. Last year we wouldn't have taken Sundays off. Generally, we would have spun, spun, spin, spin. I think it is spun. Yeah, but um, yeah. Yeah, I was, I was gonna I was gonna mention about that too, but um That's what I have. We've first. also started doing more strength training and stuff, but no one really cares about that. I was still looking up stuff about um air conditioner there. Well no, we've we've started more strength training rather than cardio, which is probably gonna be good for our bones and our joints rather than just like pointing out miles on the treadmill or on the bike or on the stairmaster. It's, yeah, it's that's true. Hopefully gonna be better. Yeah. Although the DOMS <laughs> Yeah. I s I don't think I've recovered from Monday. Yeah. And tomorrow was Monday again so yeah doms is delayed onset muscle soreness by the way just in case like, there's a wee bit of knowledge wee tidbit of knowledge <laughs> <laughs> yep there you go um we were in we have did we talk about london have we been to london since I the think last I, podcast i think again it was the day before london okay so in london this time on the acting course we got to do tv things which is me and chloe's favorite. A strong point yeah um, so it was good being able to be like, I know what I'm I doing, mean, if you're guys. not sure, you can just go back two weeks on your phone. Oh, no, yeah. Uh, that's what I was checking. Oh, okay. I'm not entirely sure how to do it on my Kindle yet. Okay. <laughs> it's probably easy enough, but I don't want to go into it and just, like, make a hash of it. Yeah. But um, we did TV stuff, which was good. Um, I was surprised how much I remembered, actually, about, like, the names of different types of yeah, shots and like angles and... Mid-shot and... Yeah. Close up and dirty dirty close-ups close up and stuff. And, yeah. I, I really enjoyed it. I thought it was good. And then we got to meet some casting directors. Some um, of which we knew from... One of which we one knew. One of which we knew. But it's still, it was very nice. Uh, lovely time. And she remembered us. So positive. That was good. It's got to be good, right? Yeah. And she was like, get you in for casting in, in, in a while, like as soon as I can. And that was sort of like, well, number one, you remembered us. And number two, you remembered that we want acting jobs. Yeah. <laughs> so, you know, solid. Um, I felt a wee bit smug. At that, to be honest. Yeah, um, everyone else is sort of like, what, what? It was like, it's Chloe and Judith, isn't it? And it's like, yeah. Hey, bud. We still should have made more of it and been like, hi, are you? It's great to see you again. Oh, I can't believe it's been so long. But, um, yeah. Next thing I have on my list is public transport because it was going to go along with the 100 day challenge and how oh, walking. Oh, sorry. But um, we can no, backtrack, it's fine. It's fine. Because we walked a lot in London as well. And just, <sighs> public transport is awful. Like, it's okay, but at the same time, I wish I could drive. Yeah. Like, whenever you have to, like, you have to schedule your life around buses. Yeah. And it's just kind of like, oh, no, can't spend any more time in Primark because I have to go get a bus. But before that, I have to go and, I don't know, go to Boots and get face wipes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, it sucks. I think, I think if I had glasses, I'm going to try and see if my, my sight is good enough to drive. Yeah. Mum reckons it would be. I don't think I'd be able to read the license plate. I think that would be the one bit that I would fail at. You just have to get someone that you know, or that dad knows, or that mum knows. Yeah. <laughs> just let her away with that. It's alright. She can almost see it. She can almost. Hello, see Mr. It. Smith. Um, my daddy's my daddy's called uh, Murray. Yeah. Um, 
be it. I think being able to drive would be so handy. And there's so many situations that you're kind of standing and like, oh, if I could drive, I'd be home by now. Yeah. Like, especially whenever the weather's bad. Yeah. Like, you're standing waiting for a bus, and it's just like, if I could drive, I wouldn't be standing out here waiting for a bus. I'd either still be in bed, or I'd be where I'm going. Yeah. <laughs> and I wouldn't be cold and miserable. Yeah. Because then you get on the bus, and either it, like, it, either it smells bad, there's no seats, you're sitting beside someone weird, or it's just ridiculously loud. I think the seats always loud. smell weird. Yeah. And they feel weird. Like, you almost, like, oh, I don't know, sometimes you sit in a seat and you're like, is this wet? And then you like pure, like you're pure paranoid the whole bus journey. You're like, is this wet? Is there something stuck in this seat? Um, it's best just not to think about it and just hope yeah. for the best. Yeah. But there's a thing about um bus seats that are like the pattern on them is specifically designed so that dirt doesn't show up on it, so they don't have to like. Oh, that's worry grim. About them. Yeah, it's grim. That's grim. It is. Mm. I think about that every time I touch a bus seat with my hand. I try not to touch them anymore. It's just like, nah. Do you sort of want to touch them with your hand to make sure it's not wet? Yeah. Like, I'd you rather just... have my hand slide through, like, I don't know, juice. Or... What if it's not juice? Pee. Mm -hmm. oh. oh. I mean, I've once sat in, like, a bus seat that, like, the, the window, the bus window was open. So that seat just so happened to be drenched. I've sat in, I've, com I've got my butt completely soaked. I've got... Choc melted chocolate, oh, melted, yeah, melted on my chocolate and chewing gum. Chewing gum. Um, this is mostly at school, to be honest. Yeah, my school skirt went through the wars. <sighs> it was awful with your school skirt though as well, because you had to wear that for like five days unless you wanted to shell out another like forty pound to get another one. Yeah. Why were school skirts so expensive? I don't even know. They were that. They were just plain like navy. Skirts. I know, but they only accepted a certain type of skirt. Like if you came in with like a Marks and Spencer skirt that was like a tenner, they'd be like, uh. That's not regulation uniform. I like. I think pleated skirts look nicer than just flat skirts. Yeah. Well, actually, no. In fairness, whenever you wore the uniform properly, it did look smart. Like yeah, but whenever everybody was wearing the same thing as well. Yeah, like but still, like they could have went with a cheaper option. So like you know, okay, ladies, you you can go to this specific shop and get the forty pound skirt, or you know, Marks and Spencers. <laughs> Next. Yeah, Dance. like, even if they said, like, Marks and Spencers, but don't get the pleated one. Like, yeah, get, get like this pleated one or whatever. But, no. But, yeah. I mean, I suppose it meant that it was the same colour as the blazer. But, I mean, boys wore... Didn't boys wear... No, they weren't allowed to gray, wear grey trousers. They had to wear navy trousers, didn't they? Yeah. Oh, okay, well, well that... They could wear dark grey, I think, but that was sort of, like... Do you if really you have, to? have yeah. to? Yeah. Um, I saw a question here, and it was on... It was on Twitter. It wasn't necessarily aimed at us, but it was sort of, um... Just one of those, like, general questions that people tweet, if that makes sense. Yeah. And it was, um, topics that me need more coverage in the media. Like, whether that be, like, in TV shows or in the news or, like, on radio and stuff. So, uh, I was thinking about that and I was sort of like, Northern Ireland. Yeah. <laughs> like, because you only really hear about Northern Ireland in Northern Ireland. Yeah. Apart from, apart from, like, the bad really stuff. bad stuff. <laughs> um... um for also, example, there was a car bomb in Derry last night and it was sort of on Twitter, but it was mostly people in Northern Ireland going, what, the actual flip lads. And or then there was a whole argument as to whether it was Derry or London Derry. Oh, that annoyed me And so that much. was kind of like, lads, can we focus more on the dangerous explosive device that went off yeah. rather than the name of the place? <laughs> yeah. It was, it's it's just frustrating. Um, Although the, the general consensus is gone wise up lads we don't want this yeah. so that was good there was no one sort of going hey although i think if there was anyone doing that then they would be shot down immediately on social media not literally oh, that was bad <laughs> bad use of say, words sort of like not necessarily like disabled actors on films but like just general awareness that like disabled people are normal no you know what annoys me whenever people go like oh yes it's for the blind or like <laughs> they are representing the blind it's like Right, okay, please don't... I don't know, it just don't it doesn't do that, yeah. sit right with me. I don't know what you would say in, instead of it, but it just... The visually impaired. Yeah, I don't know. It just... I don't know, I just don't like it. But I don't like it whenever, like, in TV shows, it's just like, it's always, like, the people in wheelchairs and stuff, and they're just taking pity on it. It's like, excuse me, that person in a wheelchair could be, like, president. Why do you not cast them as, like, a presidential role? Yeah, instead of just a per wee... A car crash victim. <laughs> really, um, way that fell out of a window or something. Um, what was I going to say? Something about disabled actors and actresses in the... Why do they not... Like, paying people 
to pretend to be blind. Yeah, because they have to do like so much research and stuff into it, or at least they should yeah. do a lot of research into it. Or get someone to coach them on how to do it. Why not just hire the coach and just yeah. save yourself? Also, it's them? always just like stereotypical things. Like there's never sort of like someone with ocular albinism like us. Yeah. It's always someone with full-blown albinism or someone who's just completely blind. There's no sort of like... There's no in-between. Yeah. There's no sort of like specific disabilities. Yeah. Um, that sort of annoys me, the fact that sort of people just assume that all blind people are just 100% blind. Yeah, there's no middling, there's no sort of degree or variation. Yeah, well, it's either they're they're blind or they're going blind, but the people who are going blind are always like over 60. Yeah, it's always old people. It's, it's never like, really young people who are like going blind or whatever. Or like living their lives as visually impaired. It's always like, oh yeah, she's, she's lost half her sight because she got hit by shrapnel. And it's like, um... I didn't get hit by shrapnel and I am visually impaired. I was born this way and please hire me. It just, it's something that just needs to change. Yeah. And it will. Eventually. Yeah. Maybe in 20 years. <laughs> it also kind of annoys me that, um, I think we talked about this before, the guy in Peaky Blinders, he wasn't, his accent was horrendous. Yeah. The, the Northern Irish accent I'm talking about representing Northern Irish actors. Although, like, I suppose, in a way, they could sort of get around it because they'd be like, oh, well, it was it was 1940s, wasn't it? How do you know that's not what people in Belfast sounded like? He could have been, like, from a migrant family. I mean, to be fair, he he was born here and then he moved to New, New Zealand, Zealand or whatever. Yeah. But still, get, get James Nesbitt in there. No, don't. He doesn't need any more acting jobs. He's rich. Probably. I don't actually know if he's rich. He probably is. But yeah, talking about blind... Um, we're going to the RNIB this week again to do oh, yeah. another podcast, so Hyped. we'll keep you keep you informed on that. But um, in the meantime, subscribe to RNIB's Crack On podcast. Yep, it's a good podcast. Um, that's C R A I C space O N <laughs> podcast. Just search it in the iTunes Store, wherever you get SoundCloud, your podcast, wherever you get your podcasts. Yeah. Should be there, or if you go on the RNIB website, um, just Google it. It'll come up somewhere. Yeah. Um. Yeah, um, how can we improve our podcast? How can we make it more fun? Or is it okay as it is? Games, 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 games. games. Do you want to do a game? game? Yeah, let's do a game. Um, we did the Google game the last time. I have like five or six different options here, so we can do a couple of rounds if we want. Okay. Um, so the first one is, how do I... Just say that again, but into the thing. Sorry. So how do I... How do I get rid of a body? No. Get rid of spots? No. Ask a boy out? No. Squat? Nope. Do a press up? No. Nope. Can you give me a hint yet? Um, there's a lot of sort of technical ones. How do I set up an email account? No, but you're like, that's sort of the same kind, the, the right kind of lines. How do I set up a Facebook account? Uh, you're close with Facebook. Twitter? No. Instagram? No. Um, it's how do I delete Facebook? Oh. That was number three. Okay. The first one doesn't really make sense. Well, it kind of does, but it sort of needs more at the end. But anyway, keep guessing. There's another, there's the one, of the, the first one is sort of, I don't even know how to describe it. There's another one that's sort of technically, and then... Sort of technically? Yeah. Like the same sort of lines as how do I set up a Facebook? How do I take an Instagram photo? No. How do I do a Snapchat? How do I get? How do I get online? No. How do I get a Snap code? No. How do I get a QR code? No. How do I get a square? No. <laughs> You're ruining it. I was trying to give you a hint. How do I get um? How do I get? How do I get? I don't know. Um, I don't know. Give me I, another hint. Um, you can watch stuff on it. How do I get Netflix? Yeah. Okay. Um, so you're 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 not great at hints. How do you give a hint about Netflix? You. How do you watch things? What sort of things would you watch? Okay, things right. On? Okay. So, how do I? And. The, uh, um, I'll give you a clue, which is um, it's to do with um, 
Your phone? phone? How do I set up an iPhone? How do I transfer my data? No, to, uh, no, but it's close. It's kind of like that. How do I reset? No, How close. do I get a new phone? No, you were close with reset and transferring data. How do I change? No. Oh, come on. What do you do if you're like changing your phone and to like another iPhone? You have to... Transfer? You have to... How do I back up? Yeah, how do I back up an iPhone? Um... I'm just going to tell you the first one because I just don't know how to give you a hint. It's how do I look like, and that's it. How do I look like? How do oh, I that makes it. That reminds me of another question I saw on Twitter. How do you describe color to someone who was born blind? I have no idea. Don't talk into your phone. I ha- Sorry, I'm trying to because like which I one. can't hear you properly whenever I'm you talk trying to pick which one to do next. If we decide to do okay. another one, because see, if I was gonna do it, I would sort of I suppose you just sort of have to go with like the fr- like I don't know. Would you go with the smell rather than the color or like yeah. the texture? That could be yeah. I like think oh, I'm... that's lovely green grass. Um, it's moist and healthy looking. <laughs> Cause you can't even say that. You can't say healthy look because they don't know what the healthy looking grass is like. I, I mean, say, I suppose if you said that, they would know sorry. what healthy looking grass feels, feels like. I don't know. That's like, that's a complicated one. Actually, if you, you are blind one. and have been born blind, please help us, us with this. How how do you do? You colours? don't necessarily have to be born blind. Like I'd say, probably like, maybe maybe after a while you sort of forget forget. Yeah. Oh, that's really sad. That's really sad. Don't take colours for granted, guys. I mean, if you're colourblind as well, how would you describe it? You're but like... colourblind, you're not fully... <gasps> I broke the thing. You're not fully, like, colourblind. Like, you can still see some colours. Like, you maybe just can't tell the difference between red and green. Yeah. I suppose. Which I think is the most common form of colourblindness. Um, yeah. You're still my ideas. Don't look it's, at my it's ideas. Because I can't, mine. It's because I can't look at mine because you knocked a thing off the thing. I knocked a glow stick off and I've had that glow stick for about three years. Not that it glows anymore. Just I just I used it to hang things on <laughs> and it broke. Um but yeah. Like it didn't snap open. There's not like glow stick just all over the floor. It yeah. just it just it was one of the bracelet things with the wee like poppers. Poppers. Or like you know what I mean? Yeah. And yeah, that came out. I don't know where the other bit went, but the actual glue stick is just lying on the floor now. Um, but yeah, that was my question. Time zones are weird. Why? Sometimes I think about how um, there's different countries that are like living in the past. And I just, I understand it. I mean, I understand why and how, but it still kind of blows my mind that people are going to bed whenever I'm waking up. Yeah. It's, it's If you think about it too hard, it does make your head hurt. Like, it's weird to think that, like, whenever we're sleeping, something major could go down in Australia and we wouldn't know about it till we woke up. Yeah. But, like, by the time we wake up, it could be maybe, like, five or six hours old. Um, yeah, but then there's also, like, Christmas and New Year and stuff, and it's, like, it's already Christmas Day in Australia or whatever. Yeah. That kind of... That was just something I was thinking about. Also space, because space is massive and there's so many stars. And you look up and you see stars and it's, like... Oh wow, that's pretty cool. And then you get like a telescope or whatever and you see even more stars and you're like, I didn't even see those before. Or maybe that's just me because I look no. into the sky and I see like the main stars and then I look up with my binoculars and I'm like, there are millions more. No, I do that too. And then it's sort of like you have to start thinking about like how fast light travels. Yeah. So it's like how you that think star's going to die. That star could dead. already be dead, but just the light's taking so long to get to us that... But then does dead. that mean at some point you're going to look up and you're going to be like, gone. there was definitely a star there yesterday. Yeah. That that blew my mind. I think that would, I would freak out. What about Orion's belt? It's like the one constellation I know. What would I do if Orion's belt disappeared? I'd be really just have to learn another one. <laughs> his trousers would fall down. Um, <laughs> it's going to snow, guys. Uh, the Beast from the East is apparently coming back and it's going to snow. I'm quite excited about that. I wrote that down because I was talking about physics and then I thought of geography. Slow down. You're getting too excited and you're sort of talking really fast. Sorry. Basically, she's getting excited about snow and physics and geography. Yeah. Because <laughs> I, I know rightly that if I listened to that on like 1.5 speed, I wouldn't get any of that. You talked that quickly. No, because you were like, oh, there's snow and physics and geography. 
Okay. You were doing the thing that you always get pulled off at in London. <laughs> well, just talking normally, yeah? Yeah, talking too culty. <sighs> culty will be our Northern Irish phrase of the week. Actually. Oh, I had a different one. But okay. okay, well, this can be my one then. It can, can be the one. word of the week. Yeah. So what's a culty? It's just someone from the country who, they generally sort of have a different accent to city folk. City folk would be more refined, whereas culty people would sort of talk like that there and they would skip out letters. They also wear checkered shirts like I'm wearing right now, but you yeah. can't see that. Checkered shirts and jeans and brown boots. And they listen to Derek Ryan and Nathan Carter. And, and Johnny Brady. And Marty Moe. And they drive tractors. Where'd my hair bubbles go? <laughs> uh, Judith's trying to tie up her hair here. And uh, normally she has a ream of hair bubbles on her wrist. I don't. I normally she... have two. Okay, well, a ream, two, whatever. Still a few hair bubbles. Um... But yeah, she's, she had the bitter pocket this time. Yeah, because they were wet because I had a shower. Surprise. <laughs> there you go, sorted. Ah, I just punched Chloe's Kindle. Um, my Northern Irish phrase of the week is, that fries my head. And what does that mean? It means that really annoys me. And where is it used? Derry. Londonderry. Yeah. Stroke I suppose more. I suppose more in Belfast they would say, that's melting my head. Aye. I? I think it is. Or you're a melter. Yeah, but uh, that fries my head. Or, you know what fries my head? We wains running around and shouting. Oh, you know what fries my head? Bomb scares. <sighs> Wasn't a bomb scare last night, lad. I had a real one. Um, but, yeah, good phrase, good phrase. Yep. Um, what else do I have here? What's a film or a TV show? I just, I just got all these off Twitter, to be honest. Um, what's a film or a TV show you haven't watched since you were a kid, but you would, like, want to watch again? Drake and Josh. Yeah. See, I was thinking about it. I was like, Dick and Dom in the Bungalow. Oh yeah, that's a good one. I was trying to think of films, and I was like, what films did we watch at Granny's that we can't <gasps> watch anymore? Thomas the. T- <gasps> Bob the Builder, Magic Christmas. Oh, that was a solid film with Elton John. But the English version, because we tried to find it. Remember, we found the find the American, American version. One. That just wasn't. What the did same. you do, guys? What did you do to it? Like, why did it have to be American? Was it just the fact that like they were like, no, this this is too British. <laughs> We're gonna have an American builder. Uh, was Elton John still in it? I don't know. I, I didn't watch so. far enough. I just heard that Bob was American and was like, "Am I?" Excuse me, that is not Neil Moresi. <laughs> because he did, he did. Um, he didn't do. Lo- I don't think he did Lofty, but he did Bob and. I think he did do Lofty. Oh no! Yeah, it was Lofty. I was. I meant Rolly. He didn't do Rolly, but he did Lofty and Bob. Rocking on a rolling hedgehog. <laughs> Rocking and rolling all night long. No, we have to pay copyright fees. No, we don't, because we just did a little bit. And you did a part and I did a part, so technically it's different. Okay. Um, what is your favourite sport out of the ones that we do? Rugby. Like, I think that we do, like, currently. We we go to the gym, we do triathlon currently. So swimming, cycling and running. We do... We do karate and surfing and stuff too. Oh yeah, well we don't do surfing a lot. We still do it though. What's and stuff? I don't know. Occasionally we row. <laughs> I think rowing then because I like to do it and I could probably sit and watch an actual race and enjoy it. I like karate. Like I don't think I could watch a fight, but karate's nice. Solid. I was going for like what I could watch and play. Oh, yeah, like no, I, I do enjoy it. I do. I do enjoy karate. I think out of all of them the most maybe yeah i like the discipline of it yeah that's my other question was uh is, is karate a sport for everyone no why because you have to be disciplined <laughs> like it's not a sport uh, it's not a sport where you can just go in and start beating the crap out of people yeah so it takes patience as well it's not sort of a thing that you can pick up or that you can be naturally good at like you can be naturally flexible and stuff but you have to work to yeah, like get the techniques. What got me onto that was like, we were talking like we a karate. We we're trying to grade to our next belt, um, which is like close to brown, uh-huh. which is really like it's not next door to black. But um, like, it's got a lot more disciplined, I think, because you have to sort of focus on like where you're kicking and stuff. Whereas beforehand, like it was just sort of like, yeah, just do the moves, do them well. But like it wasn't like you have to kick this pad, in this place three times uh, yeah i have to practice that for thursday <laughs> but yeah 
Yeah, no, I agree. It's sort of... I mean, it is sport karate now that we're doing, so... Yeah. It is more geared towards fighting, sparring. Yeah, so it does have to be sort of, like, very much controlled. And... Yeah. But at the same time, like, I think anybody could do it, provided they're, like, they've got the determination to do it, which yeah. I suppose it means that not everybody can do it, because not everybody has the determination to do it. <laughs> but, like... Everyone has the potential to do it. Yeah, that's a good way of putting it. Have we told everyone about Buddy, our cat? I don't know, but I've got no more topics left. That's my ten topics talked about. Okay, because <laughs> Buddy the cat is really cute, and he's small, and he follows us into the house now, and someday... We're going to put a video of him up because he's adorable. But obviously dogs are better. And someday he will probably be run over by a car. Yeah, we're... So please, if you're in the um, Northern Ireland area and you want a cat, <laughs> uh, contact us please and save this cat from a brutal death and save us from the pain of having to bag and bin a cat. Bag and bin a cat. I mean, we do it respectfully. We have a wee funeral service and stuff before we bin it. What are you supposed to do with dead cats? Just bung them in a river, are you supposed to bin them? I don't know, bury them. I don't know, I wouldn't bury a cat. Like, I bury a dog. Yeah. But I don't know, a cat just sort of seems like. Because like, dogs like to dig, so it's sort of like a natural thing that, you know, oh, I used to dig a hole over there in the garden, so that's where we buried him. That's a bit grim. Fair enough. I mean, but, that's um, quite cute, actually, I thought. But, yeah, the like, cats don't dig. Like, it'd sort of be like, cat used to lick its butt there, so that's where we buried him. <laughs> Fair enough. That was his favourite spot. That's why we buried him under the mantelpiece. Um, <laughs> or imagine burying a cat in your house. People <laughs> years later, oh my gosh, it's a time capsule. Let's see what people were like back then. Dead cat bones. <laughs> oh. oh. Morbid family. Grim. <laughs> Um, I'm going to do that. I'm going to bury a time capsule, but right next to it, I'm going to put a shoebox with a dead cat in it. Obviously, I'm not going to, like, if I... It's going to be a dead cat if there's one available. I'm not going to go out of my way to kill a cat to put it in a box. Yeah. I'm also not going to dig up a cat or go hunting for a dead cat. Okay. It's just, if it just so happens to me, I decide to bury a time capsule, and it's like, meow! There we go. Sort of. It. <laughs> but, yeah. Uh, what have we been watching on TV this week? Has anything interesting happened? Um, what have we watched on TV this week? We tried week? watching um, that Sabrina show on was Netflix. Was that this week? That feels like years ago. <laughs> was it this week or last week? It's it's within the past two weeks. Yeah. But yeah, it's. I don't know Sorry. what to think about it. I think I'll maybe give it another episode, but... Eh. I thought there only was two episodes, no? Is there more? No, there's like a whole series. <laughs> Alright, okay. Because it just said part one and then part two, so I was like, alright, okay, so it's just a wee... I'm pretty sure it's a whole series. We also tried... Um, uh, how to get away with murder. I thought that was quite interesting. Yeah. It's sort of along the same, not along the same kind of lines, but it's sort of like the mentalist. Like it's a bit sort of mentally. Yeah, it's like mind games. Yeah. Um, and like how you get I don't, around stuff. I don't particularly like like the flashbacks or like the flash forwards yeah. or whatever it is. That's sort of a bit like, is it really needed? I suppose we only watched the first episode though, yeah. so it was kind of trying to set out the story yeah i just thought it was a wee bit like some of it was a bit unnecessary or else like some bits they could have put like both flashbacks together rather yeah. than splitting them like and have them five minutes apart like yeah it just sort of like to me it upset the flow of the story mm -hmm. but yeah that's what else have you tried to watch on netflix anything no i think that's it we've also been watching the dumping ground on cbc because we are children um which is really good i i I get really annoyed at some of the kids in it, and I know that it's just characters. It's like, I think it's supposed to be sort of like, almost like, not a soap, but like a drama series, like Neighbours or EastEnders or something, but for kids. Yeah, so there's think, always, like, there's always a like a bad, bad guy character. Or, or, yeah, some of them just really annoy me. But Mike's adorable. Oh, I love him. I love Mike. I also love, like, Connor Byrne, like, the actor. Yeah, on Twitter. Yeah, he's just, he's so he's, lovely, he's, but he's also like... <laughs> He's a wee bit sarky because people, like some like kids and stuff, tweet him and just like, I love you, Mike. And it's like, um, I'm, I'm not, I'm not Mike on it's a character. Um, it's a car He's not real. <laughs> but you can imagine if someone ran out, if a wee kid ran up to him in the street and was like, Mike, he would probably and just he'd be probably like, go with it. Yeah. yeah. Um, I think that's cute. I think that would be like a plus of being like a kids actor kind of yeah. person, just the kids being like, 
I mean adults because there's a lot of adults that like because like Connor Byrne has been in it since like the story of Tracy Baker. Yeah, right enough, right enough. So like, oh, it's so weird. People could have grown up with them, and now their kids are growing up with them. Oh, that's really cute. Like it's just Aww. one of those. Th- it's like it, it's kind of like it. the Chuckle Brothers as well, though. Well, yeah. Apart from Barry Shh. dying. <laughs> Shh, don't say that. Uh, I was going to say, I think I've said before that I want to read Jacqueline Wilson's book about Tracy Beaker and the way in my mum, Tracy Beaker. All right, yeah. Just to see how she how she grew up. Do you think authors change over, like, series? Is, what do you mean? That makes sense. Like, do you think their style of writing, like, changes? Like, say, J.K. Rowling in Harry Potter. Do you think her style of writing changed throughout the series of Harry Potter? I think it did. I think... But, but does it change it, for the good or for the bad? I think it was good because it sort of... It it, show, it sort of made it more that the characters were getting older kind of thing. Yeah. But I think it was just she became more confident in what they were going to do and that people were sort of on board with it. Whereas yeah. the first one was sort of like, is everyone going to like this? I don't know. I think it's good. But at the same time, like, especially with Harry Potter, it's sort of, I think she almost got, she was confident, yes, but I think she was also kind of scared to sort of, especially with the deaths, I reckon. Yeah. She was kind of like, oh... I want to kill this person, but also everybody will hate me. Yeah. Like, you, almost, I think it was you almost need to think of, like, a good storyline to go with it, to sort of parallel it, so it's, like, not as bad. Yeah. Like, I think position. I think the deaths were good. Like, they were... They hurt. <laughs> but, like, it would have been boring if they didn't happen. Yeah. Like, I Well, not hate... all of them. I think not all of them had to happen. Are you thinking of Fred? Yeah. Yeah. That one hurt me. A lot. As a twin, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that hurt. I still remember reading that and like tearing up and just being like, I can't cry because everyone will ask me why I'm crying. I'm gonna be like, Fred, do it, and they're not gonna understand. It's just... Yeah, because I was like two chapters or something behind mm-hmm. you on that. That was yeah, that was rough. That was the year we went on holiday and I read Deathly Hallows like into the night because I just couldn't sleep, so I just sat up and then I it was I think it's the one time that I fall asleep while reading a book because I woke up. And I, I remember reading it and I, then I woke up and the book was on the floor beside me and everyone else was up having breakfast because I was sleeping in the living room on the sofa. Yeah. And I woke up and it was like daytime and the lights were off because it was light outside and the book was lying on the floor beside me. <laughs> and then mum was like, why did you sleep with the lights on? And I was like, I, I didn't. I didn't. I was raised. <laughs> <laughs> and I just, I couldn't. It took me a while to get my head around the fact that I had fallen asleep. I was like, what happened last night? <laughs> but yeah. Good books. S- solid series of books. I haven't read The Deathly Hallows since then, I don't think. Mm. I think the first Harry Potter book I read was The Chamber of Secrets. Yeah, that was the first book I read. I was sort of like P4 or 5 maybe. I read The Chamber of Secrets. Yeah. I think I had seen the first three or four films and then I read the sixth book no I must have did the sixth book come out before the fifth film I think so I don't know I know that I think the sixth one was the first one I properly read I sort of half read the fourth one at school but it was like during one of those silent reading periods in class and you had to go over to the side of the room and pick a book I was just like Harry Potter yeah sure wait primary school or secondary school oh wait no yeah because Deathly Hallows was primary school, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I don't know. I'm getting... Everything sort of merges into one. Yeah. Because time. I'm I'm all out of topics as well, because some of mine were the same as yours, but... Okay. We can do another Google gate search thing if, if you want. Or... Why not? How far through are we? How much time have we elapsed? Uh, it's just over half an hour. That's okay, we'll do another Google game, try and get it up to about 40 minutes. We didn't ask for any questions this week. Um, we'll maybe do another podcast next week and ask for your questions. Um, yeah. but So this one is, why is... Why is the sky blue? Yes, that is the first one. Well done. That's the one everybody asks. Yeah. One. It's just because of like... There's another one that everybody asks. Like, why is the sun yellow? No. Why is the sun? Why does the sun look yellow? It doesn't even look yellow. It looks white. If you look yeah. at it, don't look at the sun, but it does look white. But don't look at it to like because it's like orange or something, isn't it? Yeah, that must just be refra- refraction. Well, I don't think so because if it's like if it's a bright enough fire, it looks white. Yeah. Yes, maybe it's just so and then, bright and so warm or whatever. Yeah, it but then it like. also depends on refraction because whenever it's setting, it goes orange. Oh yeah. Weird. 
physics right um why wait is it why is yeah why is um why is the sea blue oh you're close you're close it's about the sea why is the sea salty yeah that was that's the last one but so you got the first and the last and you just have to get two in between why why is the sea salty i know i learned that i learned that at uni why is um, the sea salty also because all the minerals because, because the rocks and yeah dissolves. and then it doesn't get it doesn't get less salty because there's always stuff going in even though there's stuff being evaporated out um but it doesn't get more salty or less salty it just sort of stays the same although it might get less salty if lots of ice caps melt but generally it is kept regular because of deposition and evaporation thanks for the sciencey geography lesson i mean i could go into bigger things but why is not. why is um my mummy unconscious <laughs> no <laughs> um thinking about think about um like holidays things that we celebrate why is christmas on the 25th of december no whatever but jesus kind... was born in september it's kind of like that why is easter always changing dates yes why is easter on different days but it's just because of the moon. Yeah. And we don't actually know when Jesus died. It's just, might not have even been a Friday. Well, no, do we not, do we not know? Because Jewish people still celebrate Passover. Yeah, they still celebrate Passover, but Passover was always due to, like, the moon, was it not? Yeah. Yeah, so that's why Easter is... So we don't know the actual date, we're just sort of going with it. Okay, yeah, sorry. Yeah. But we don't, we, do we know it was a Friday and a Sunday? Well, we know it was... Yeah. Oh, yeah, we do, so. because he rose on a Sunday, which is the Sabbath, which is why... Although, was that not the Saturday then? Cause the Sabbath oh, yeah, because is... yeah. Jewish Sabbaths are no, Saturday. No, it's just Sunday because that's the Sabbath. I don't know. I think it makes more sense to have the Sabbath on a Sunday. Why? Surely Saturday, because it's the one that, like... I don't know, it's just, like Sunday, Monday... Ju Sunday and Monday just sound the same. Like, surely it's better to... Go have Sunday as the first day of yeah. the week. I prefer, but I prefer Monday at the same time. Like, Sunday and Monday, they sound the same, so it's good to, like, start the week on one and end the week on the other. Yeah. My mind's weird. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, sorry, right, why is, um, why is... This is another one. It's not a holiday, but it's something to do with dates. Why is the 1st of January on a no. sun... Why is... My finger hanging off. It's about dates. <laughs> Why is my date not answering my messages? No. Why is... Why is... Think of February. Why is February so short? No. Well, kind of. <laughs> Why is August so long? No. Why is it that when I try to <laughs> ask a question, I kind of go like a robot? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know the answer to that one. But that's not on my list. Why is it that... Actually, try and answer it there. Okay. Why is it... Is it... Why is it? No. Why is the... Why is... No. Why is a... No. Is it about a month? It's about a, a, a day. Why is Valentine's Day? No. Why is Wednesday? No. Tuesday? No. Monday? No. <laughs> is it a holiday? No, I told you it's not a holiday. Okay. Um. But it's about a specific day in february why is the 28th of february why is it a leap year yeah why is there a leap day near enough i also why have... is there a leap day is that just... oh yeah because the day is like it's like a, it takes a year, year and, and 65 and, and a quarter, quarter days <laughs> um i also have what color and what color is oh what color is okay that would be that should be fun what color is the sky no. What colour is my dog? No. What colour is that I mean, blind man's cane? An animal. <laughs> you're close with an animal. Okay, right. What colour is a cat? No. A chameleon? No. A lizard? A chameleon? That's quite interesting, actually. What colour is a chameleon? Um, I don't know. I suppose you could just set it on a glass table and find out. No. <laughs> that's, that's my end. What colour is a cow? No. A buffalo? No. <laughs> Lives in a cold place. What colour is a polar bear? Yeah. Oh yeah, they're like yellow. Or no, they? are they not? Do they not have like see through, and then it sort of like reflects the snow or whatever? Oh, maybe. I thought it was like yellow. I don't know. I don't know. Lad, you should have looked up the answers to some of these. I what color? If you want. What color is? This was a really controversial one, like uh, in twenty 
13. What colour is the dress? Yeah, <laughs> that is the top one. What colour is the dress? I remember, I remember, I actually remember looking at that one and sort of like someone showed it to me because they like showed it to me on their phone and it was like bright outside. I did see white and gold, but every other time I saw black and blue. I just saw different pictures and I think just different pictures showed it up differently. Yeah, like it depended on the light, I think. Yeah. Um, The next three are, are about colours. What colour is red? No, but it's that, that kind of idea. What colour is green? No, but think of like vague ones, like ones that... What colour is mauve? No. What colour is magenta? No. What colour is pumpernickel? No. <laughs> Are they pure rare colours There's like one that, that I really don't know, that I always get confused. I always call it turquoise. What colour is teal? Yeah. Okay. Teal is more green than turquoise. Yeah. Okay. The, the, one begins with T and one begins with O. What colour is oragna? No. What? It sounds kind of like oragna. What colour is... I don't know. Okra. Oh, okra. Okra. What colour is okra? I'll search it here. Try and guess the last one. What did it begin with? T. T. What colour is taupe? Yeah. <laughs> I don't even. I don't know what like either of those are. Like, okra is kind of. I don't know. It's sort of a mustardy, yellowy, it's sort of like a, green. It's like a dirty orange. What colour? Or is dirty dirt? yellow. Yeah, dirty yellow. Like whenever you. Um, you're colouring in with a yellow yeah, pen and you and mix the, it with the black. Yeah, except you'd like except that looks more like you've mixed it with a brown rather than a black. Yeah. How do you just a dirty yellow? Taupe is grey with a tinge of brown. Oh yeah, it's sort of the colour of um muddy cement. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Cement with a hint of mud. <laughs> I know there's different variations of it. Hold on, this is a color chart of different shades of brown. There's petone, petone, light taupe. Oh, these are all different shades of taupe. No way, plaza taupe, light taupe. But like, whenever you're doing that, taupe like grey. That's what I was just about to say. Like, if you're doing like you know, like black to white, when does it become like more black than white? Like, I know that you say grey is in between, but like, there's different shades of grey. Yeah. There's more than 50 shades of grey. <laughs> <laughs> but like, no, say you were doing like red to yellow, you have to go through orange. Mm-hmm. But when... Does at what it, point does it become orange? Yeah. And at what point does it become yellow? Like, how do you... Because like, that's sort of almost like, not a... Pers- like, is it perspective? Is that the word I'm looking like for? A, it's, I think it's a sort of personal yeah. view of it. But like, you get into some arguments with that. No, this is more orange. This is orangey yellow. No, it's yellowy orange. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, if you said orangey yellow, would that mean more orange than yellow? Yeah, yeah that's okay. So you put like the colour that there's most of start at the start. Yeah. That's grey white. <laughs> blue green. It's a greeny blue. It's a purpley pink. Pinky purple. It's an indigo wee violet. <laughs> I'm gonna start oh, doing that. I'm gonna instead of being like it's an orangey yellow, I'm gonna be like it's a movie taupe. <laughs> <laughs> Can oh, that be the title of this? It's a movie taupe. taupe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, I think on that note, now that we've got a title, we can, can end it. We can finish up. Yeah. Well, I know that this one sort of wasn't overly, wasn't overly comedy, was it? I thought it was quite good. I thought we mm-hmm. had some good discussions. Yeah. But anyway, uh, make sure you follow us on Twitter and Instagram. We are at skit underscore twins. Or under um, slash if you're Chloe. Oh, you said the thing. <laughs> yeah, I'm welcome. so proud. Um, you can search us on YouTube. We are just skit twins. Uh, Facebook as well. We're just skit twins. Um, links should all be down in the description for all that. Um, as well also as that. SoundCloud and your podcast app. Yep. And also feel free to email us with funny stories, with questions, with challenges, with even, even like your thoughts on, you know, your favourite video or like leave a comment, like obviously, but if you don't want to, then you can. Yeah, we will keep your identity private if you want to as well. Yeah. Just sign it off as anon. Yeah. Or an any mouse. An any mouse. Yeah. But yeah, just tell us what you think. Just send us a wee hey, send us a story. Yeah, we, we love getting tweets and messages and stuff. It makes us feel very popular. Yeah, let us know that if you're listening to this podcast, let us know that you're listening rather than just us thinking like, you know, it's 23 listenings by our mum. Yeah. <laughs> she doesn't even listen. Doesn't listen. <laughs> but yeah, just, just... Yeah, let us know. Give us a Let us know tweet. you exist, just in we, some way. Yeah, like it, leave a comment or a review. 
even just to say, yep, I'm here. Yeah. Or hi, smiley face, whatever. Yeah. Like something so we know that people are actually paying attention. Yeah. Um, preferably a tweet. I'd like a wee tweet and just be like, oh, hey, I listen to your podcast. Yeah. It's, it's rubbish. Stop. Also, you know, if you're listening to this podcast, branch out, listen to some more. If this is the only podcast you listen to, go listen to some more. If you want more Northern Irish people to listen to, Judith, who could, who could, who uh, would you, you recommend? Listen to Sean Hegarty, S E A N. Uh, Sean Hegarty. Yeah. Uh, Sean Hegarty talks to himself and he also does one with his wife, Diona, uh, which is Hanging with the Hegartys. H E G A R T Y S. Yeah. Uh, there's also She and Todd. The Shane S-H- podcast. S H A N E because Sean and Shane, there's so many different variations. Yeah. Um there's also Dave Elliott. Um D A V E. It's just Dave. <laughs> uh Colin Geddes is quite good as well. Uh Chloe, you got any- anyone else? Uh the oh what are they called? The Fellowship Podcast. The Fellowship Podcast, but they're only on SoundCloud currently, um, because of a little issue of copyright. On iTunes. Oh really? Yeah, there was another podcast called the Fellowship Podcast, and it was more like uh, religiousy and yeah. the Fellowship Podcast, the Northern Irish Boys. Very much not. Very much not. Because I used to listen to them. I used to be subscribed to them on iTunes, and then they disappeared. So that explains where they've gone. Yeah. Um, I, mean, I don't think there's any other. Very, like, is there any? Not that I know. Of. There's I mean, BBC Northern Ireland. If you search that, yeah, like, or BBC Radio Foil. There's and obviously ones. there's the RNIB Crack On Podcast. Yes. Um. And yeah. I mean, and then there's us, the Skit Twins podcast. Yeah, we're the only female-only Northern Irish podcast. We think, anyway. Possibly. Hopefully. Probably the best yeah. one, anyway. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, thank you very much for listening. Uh, do all the things. Say hey. Let us know you exist, please. Thank you very much. Yeah, take care, be good. Make good choices. Go well. Bye.